So in this pages guide, we're going to take a look at how you can use the templates function and the edit of the master pages to create your own documents that you might want to use in schools or business or wherever it is you might be working. So I'm going to go into pages and I'm going to start a new document by tapping on the plus icon at the top. And we're going to use the books. So you can either choose to do this in portrait or in landscape. I'm gonna choose landscape. And I'm gonna show this a couple of different ways. First way is to choose a pre-existing template that you might want to use to build your own book because obviously someone's gone to a lot of trouble to create these very good looking uh, templates. So why not start with a template in that way? So let's just say I'm going to choose this training book idea. I'm gonna go ahead and open that booklet up. And I could use the templates that are pre-made for me from Apple that exist within pages, or I could actually start to think about just editing some of these so that I have that continuation of style, um, but I don't have to obviously keep designing each page as I add the page in. So to do that, if I tap and hold on the slide on the uh, in the thumbnails to the side, you'll see that I get the options here to edit that master page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And now I'm in the editing function. So this isn't, is, this isn't sort of pages as you know it from the kind of creation of things, but you still have the same tools. So at the top, I still have my paintbrush, I still have my ad, I can add in some elements here, but it's gonna take place as a template, as a master page, as opposed to me designing each one. So for instance, my cover, you know, I think that's that's fine as a cover. Obviously, I would change the picture depending on what I'm doing. Um, but this page here, I think, you know, section one, actually, maybe I'm going to call this chapter one. So I can just sort of, you know, add into that um, and the, the text can change. And do you know what? Pink might not be the color that I want to use for this book. So I could edit that as well. So as long as I've selected the, the slide on the side, I can go to the paintbrush choose the background and actually, do you know what? I might want it to be blue, I might want it to be this purple color, but, but this is where you can sort of really fine tune those elements. Similarly on, you know, your intro page, you know, you might not want this, this uh, yellow uh, sort of off white color in the background. You could simply just delete that. And then what happens when you go back into the main page, you'll see that that's taken effect across all of those pages. And now if I add a new page, you'll see that that section now is the color that I want that section color to be. And then another intro page isn't going to have that uh, off-white yellow background color to it. So you can really start to play around and fine tune some of the templates to make it work in a way that works very much for you. Something else that, that came up in, in a discussion I had recently was, um, if I go to this chapter page, could I have sort of sections within this? And, and absolutely you can, and that's probably not necessarily in the, the editing of the master page. But if I wanted something on this page to reference these two pages, we can simply just do that as a hyperlink. So we could type in, uh, let me just put a text box in on this. And let's just say that this is, uh, you know, section one or whatever I might want to call that section. If I just select that text, I'll select all of the text and then tap on it and tap on link. It gives me these options to link to a specific um, place. Um, in the first instance, it's saying go to a web page. So that's how I do hyperlink. But I can select this as a specific page within the book. And in this case, I'm going to select that this is going to go to page three because that's where section one might be. And then that's done. So now that exists as a hyperlink that when I tap on that link, it's going to take me to that page. So again, just different ways that you can kind of create your books to have the flow that you want. The, the great thing about pages is you, is you really do have complete control over how you want to design the book. Now let's look at this from a different way. So this is designing it from the point of view that you, you're using some of these kind of pre-existing pages templates. If I come out and start a new document, but this time I'm going to go to a blank book, this gives you that infinite control. Now for some people, this can be a bit daunting because it's very much about, you know, I, I have complete control and that whole idea of designing with no scaffold can be it can be quite daunting to some people. But for other people, you know, you might have a, a fantastic idea of how you want your book to look. So again, you know, you have kind of set things already on the page that you can play around with. You know, this is obviously a title. 
So you can play around with this. You know, I might just want the title of the book to be in this position. I might want the page to be a, a different color, etc. So again, I'm going to tap on uh, Edit Master Page. And I'm going to do my design work, not from the content, but just what the page looks like. I'm going to do it in this page. So you'll notice the, the big orange banner at the top says Edit Master. So you know where you are within pages. I'm going to tap on the paintbrush and actually just make sure that I've got only the, the page selected. Tap on the paintbrush, choose a background. Um, and I'm going to choose uh, like this nice sort of bluey color. Um, and that's going to be kind of the theme. And then the, the text here, actually, I want this to be kind of like a chapter title. So I'm going to add that in. Um, and you know what, I'm going to delete the text out of that because I'm just going to have that as a sort of title box and again this is completely down to you how you design these things so this is just going to be my chapter page um, and you know what I think it would be really nice to have a, a picture in here maybe um, so I think what I'll do is add in a, a nice box that sits here just as a reminder to me that I'm going to add a, an image into this part of my of my page uh, and I'm not, I'm not going through the whole design thing. I'm sure there's people that have got a design uh, background that are screaming at me at the moment thinking, no, don't do that. But you, you'll get the idea. This is, I'm just showing you how you can do these things. So when I tap done now, you'll see that that's going to take over from that slide. And also, if I tap on the plus, it's going to exist here as a, a master page that I can use at any time. And you can create as many of these as you want. So again, if I go back in and go to edit master page, you'll notice at the bottom, similar setup to if I'm adding a new page and just editing it and adding content. Here I can add a new master page. So I can start with a blank. I can name this. So this might be a photo slide, whatever it is I'm going to call it. And then I can design what that page looks like, etc., etc. So complete uh, control and choice over how you put your slides together. Now, one last thing to just highlight, which is which is really useful to know, because people were asking me about the idea of hyperlinking to certain parts of the book. Pages does this for you if you if you introduce the table of contents. So these three bars at the top here do allow you to actually jump between this table of contents. And if I tap on edit, you'll see that it's all based on the, the styles of text that you have as to which sections you want to add in. So therefore, I've added chapter as being a section and, and that might be enough. You might just want your, your table of contents to be the chapters. But as you change anything on the page, so if I just add in this text and change this text style to caption, for example, if I now go to my table of contents and tap on edit and choose caption, that page is now going to be selected here. So again, it's in the design, it's how you create this I would suggest maybe getting started. It would be easier to just make sure that all of your chapter titles use the same font and you might use, uh, not font, sorry, but the same paragraph styling. So chapter obviously is a good one to use um, just because it helps people navigate around. But if you are going to play around with it and you want to add in those different section titles, this is this is how you would do that. So just make sure that, you know, a section title or a subheading or whatever it might be is titled over here and then it will automatically pick that up for you um, and you can again like edit it and, and choose that to be in the page um, as, as part of your chaptering if you published your book. So there we go, some just sort of br brief overviews of how you can use the, the master pages in order to design your book, to make your book look exactly how you want your book to look and ultimately save you time when it comes to building more and more pages. The last thing to say is that once you've created this as a master page, you can then save it as a template, which means if you're doing something in school and you know that all teachers want to utilize that same kind of template so that it's a familiarity for the students in the class, I can export this as a template and share this with other people. So I can export it here as a pages template. It's going to create this. I can add this to my template chooser. I can also send this template to colleagues, etc. save it to files, put it in cloud storage, whatever it might be. Um, and it'll just allow everybody to have that same template. But again, if I just export this, and if I save this to my template chooser, you'll see that it just now adds to your templates across the bottom here, which just you know means you have access to different styles as well as all of the, the pages created ones that you have access to as well. 
So there we go. Thanks a lot for listening. Again, any comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Um, any requests for anything, um, I try to get back to people as often as possible with any queries about, you know, mine doesn't quite look like that. So please do leave any questions in the comments below. And thanks again for listening.